Hello YouTube, it's ICU here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get Game Center on your iPhone 3G. Now, uh, first of all, you have to be on 4.1 and you have to be jailbroken, of course. And I'm also going to show you guys how to fix the problem that's been happening to almost every single person where uh, games in your Game Center list do not show up. So first of all, though, we're just going to go over how to actually get it. So in order to do that, you're going to have to download this folder. I will have a link in the more info. And once you've done that, you're going to have to SSH into your iPhone. If you don't know how to do that, you can Google it. It is very easy. And you can do it on both Mac and Windows. And I'm assuming you can do it on Linux too. I just uh, have never heard of somebody doing that. So once you've SSH'd into it and you have that file downloaded, you're just going to navigate back. Just go all the way back. And then uh, you're going to go to the applications folder which is down here and then you're gonna open up the folder that you guys downloaded and then where it says game center and then it gives the tilde iPhone app you're gonna take that and you're just gonna drag it in and then you're gonna release and you're gonna copy it in but I already have mine see look so if I try and do that it'll ask me if I want to replace it and I'm just gonna click no so uh, that's what you guys would do though and then once you've done that you're just going to go to it you must right click and go to properties and then set the permissions to 0775 or you can just simply set them to 775 and then you must click this box right here where it says set group owner and permissions you must click that and then click OK then once you've done that you're going to go back all the way and then you're going to go to system and then once inside of system you're going to go to library and then you're going to go to core services and then inside of core services you are then going to go to springboard.app and then you're just going to come back to this folder and then find the one that you want so for instance if you want multitasking and game center enabled you take that one wallpaper and game center that one multitasking and wallpaper and game center you take that one so in order to do that just go inside of it and then take the file and then drag it in copy and you'll already have the file and you just want to click replace but for now I don't want to replace it because I already have it and then once you've done that you're just gonna go back to the system library and then once inside of system library you're going to go to launch daemons which is right there and then you're gonna copy the com.apple.gamed over there and just click copy and then I'm just gonna click yes to that one because that one really doesn't matter and then once you've done that this is the final step just go all the way back to the root and go to USR and then once inside of USR go to lib exec and then just take the game D file and copy it over and then once you've done that you're gonna need to reboot your iPhone so now that you've done that you'll notice you'll have the game center icon and then you can open it and you can make a new profile or if you already have a profile you can do that basically it just uses your iTunes profile though and uh, the thing that I'm talking about is when you go to games when you click on it uh, you won't have any games there and it'll say no games even if you have a compatible game such as Angry Birds but I'm gonna show you how to fix that with a simple Cydia tweak that you just have to install okay so now that my Cydia has finally loaded up you're gonna go to the search tab at the bottom and you're gonna search for GC space patcher so GC obviously is short for game center and patcher means it patches something so it's GC patcher iPhone 3G and what you're gonna do is you're just going to go into it and it says that it enables game center detection for iPhone 3G so just hit install confirm and because I already have it installed I'm not gonna do it it just says modify for me so once you've done that it'll ask you to respring and you can just go to your home screen and you won't notice any app or anything different until you actually go into settings and then inside of settings you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna go to GC patcher and then you're just gonna have it on it's automatically on by default and for any games that uh, it doesn't work for you're gonna have to manually turn them on all of them should appear down below and you just swipe it from the off position to the on position and if you just go into game center without actually loading the game first then it will not appear in game center you need to have both of them open too, just to let you know 
add me if you want. My username's ICU space ID. And yeah, that pretty much sums it up, guys. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Please thumbs up if you liked it and comment if you have any questions and also subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. This is ICU signing out.